What's up, y'all? Just came to do a OOTD because I have not done one in probably months at this point. I'm standing like this because I don't want to get the bottom of my shoes on this white rug. So, um, just to give y'all a little tidbit of what I'm wearing, I do not remember where I got this uh, scarf from, but it has, you know, the lime, the black, the gray, and the white little accents. I have on just a plain basic white tee. I have on my um, black Michael Kors coat jeans from my brand Nugent. These are the thick with it jeans. <laughs> um, thick of it jeans, my bad. Thick of it jeans. They're very stretchy. Um, I'm wearing a size 11. Um, I have on my neon converse. Anything that I'm able to link, I will link. So yeah, this is how I'm doing my little look today. Let me step back a little bit. So this is the full look. And I'm going to be sure to take pictures and stuff for the thumbnail. Hopefully I don't forget like I normally do. So yeah, this is my full look for today. We're actually about to go to, um, let me zoom in a little bit. We're actually about to go to Legacy West. Grab a bite to eat before we um, end the evening or whatever at the grandparents' house. As you know, that's where Madison is kicking it at right now. So we'll end up over there um, with the rest of the fam. Ice cream. There go the lids right there. I almost forgot. So I was like, I know it used to be some straws over here. Why walk one weekend? Yeah, Y'all look at that crispy fried chicken, y'all. So, just for reference, I got the Kool-Aid as always, and then Chris got their sweet tea, but their sweet tea is not like regular sweet tea. It's, um, what is it, lemon, orange, and mint, and then obviously tea, but all those flavors mixed together, y'all, it's actually really, really good. It sounds weird, but it's very good. The flavors mesh very well together. Now y'all can see it real good with the light. <laughs> I got ranch, and what kind of sauce you got? He got, he got one of the spicy mustard sauces, but yeah. So this is our presentation. All right, bye. <laughs> so y'all, <laughs> we don't think we're supposed to be up here right now, even though the elevator works and all that. So we're gonna go back down. I'm gonna give me a little fry fry. And y'all, their blend of ranch is real good too. If you like ranch. Chris don't like ranch, but I'm just letting y'all know. Their ranch is real good. Their um their ranch it has some dill in it so it adds to the flavor <laughs> we are both getting the take espresso martini y'all it has keto vodka and the local coffee liqueur and cold brew and then the simple syrup so that's what yeah. we get in case y'all come here we in haywire <laughs> whatever Hey y'all, just checking back in. We just got back in the car. We're leaving um, Legacy Hall, Legacy West, whatever you wanna call it. We're leaving now and we're actually headed to uh, the grandparents' house to link up with the family. They're over there watching the Cowboys game. So that concludes our um, parents' day slash night out. Um, and we'll check back in with y'all maybe later. Ran up in here real 
quick so I can make sure I spoke with y'all before I just dived into the rest of our day. Just finished learning with medicine. I'm about to chop off the um, sides of my head. Let me take off this robe first. But y'all about to chop off the sides of my hair because it look a mess and it's starting to itch and anytime, put it over there. Yeah, anytime my hair starts to grow back on the sides, it curls. There's Madison. But yeah, it curls on the side because of my curl pattern. I have what they, I guess we'll call it 4C or whatever. So my hair is very thick and coarse. So it starts to curl and it starts to make my scalp itch. I need to retwist my hair, but it ain't happening today. But I do want to retwist it one day this week. So I'll probably allow y'all to see that process. I think I'm gonna have to adjust where I have y'all at too. But I got this other little piece for my camera where I'm able to record on my phone and on my uh, camera at the same time. But y'all aren't really able to see me much on my camera. So I think I'm about to adjust it. Hold on. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's better. Now you can actually see me from uh, both angles. Let me see. All right, baby. Okay, so I'm about to get these clippers right after I put my little cape on because I don't want hair all on me poking. Basically what today is going to consist of is going to be us running some errands. We got to um, get some stuff for our secret sandwich for the family Christmas party that's taking place Saturday. I most likely will bring y'all um, with us. So it's just going to consist of a bunch of errands being ran. First, like I said, I want to get myself together. I still got to do Madison's hair. I'm going to try to make it quick. So I'm going to do Madison's hair and throw on some clothes or whatever. Chris is taking us to the nail salon. We need some TLC up in here. So I'm about to get started on my hair. Okay, so the reason I'm not cutting this little part is because I was starting to go too far back um, with my hairline and so it wasn't shaped up properly and that's my fault because I was starting to cut it by myself and I was just rushing. So yeah, this part of my hair, I haven't just cutting it off each time. So I'm allowing this to grow back and then I'm gonna just pretty much like brush it when I retwist my hair or whatever. But yeah, so that's why I'm not cutting this. Don't think I missed this line. I'm purposely not cutting that because I'm allowing that front part of my hairline to grow back because I basically just been cutting it off. And I'm gonna um, ask Chris to do the back for me. So I'm basically just about to get both sides in case y'all wondering what this uh, process looks like. If you've seen the previous vlogs where I've cut it all on my own, I use my little uh, trifold mirror where I'm able to see the back. You know, I put it on the door or whatever, but I'm just doing it in the front right now. And like I said, I'm gonna have him help me in the back. So I ain't gotta do that and I ain't gotta be rushing or whatever. All right, y'all, my head is done. I'm gonna have to wipe it down and oil it and whatever because I'm not about to do a whole uh, hair washing process at this very moment. So um, next up, I'm about to do her hair before I even get myself dressed and together or whatever. So I'll bring y'all in there for that and that will be with the um, Ray-Ban uh, Nettles. So that'll be that POV. <laughs> Alright y'all, so for Madison's hair, I'm using the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Kids Extra Moisturizing Detangler with Slip Rim and Marshmallow Extracts and then of course a little brushy brush. I might grease a little bit of scalp with a little blue magic. And then I'm going to use one of these, or not one, but I'm going to use some of these elastic uh, bands, whatever matches her shirt, and that's what we're going to do. Alright y'all, so... For Madison's hair, I usually just in between me retwisting it because it definitely is time for me to retwist it. I just make sure I keep it nice and moisturized with some type of a leave-in conditioner, and then I keep her scalp oiled so it doesn't get you know super dry. But probably the same day that I 
retwist my hair i'm probably gonna retwist her hair as well but this is what i'm gonna be using i'm gonna be using the coconut and hibiscus kids extra moisturizer detangled with slippery elm and marshmallow extracts from shea moisture and then some elastic bands and then probably a little bit of blue magic to make sure her scalp is not dry and that's what i'm gonna use rat tail comb here to make sure the parts are as precise as possible Oh, it's dusty. It's so dusty, but I'm still used to it. So we got strawberry hooks. I'm pretty sure y'all have came to Smoothie King with us before. But if you have not, we get the strawberry hook. It's very yummy. I got a 32 ounce so that I can pour some in the cup for uh, Madison. Because they be tripping, acting like they don't want to give you no cup. No extra cup. So yeah, that's what we order. So the next time you go to Smoothie King, definitely try. And if you order something else at Smoothie King that we would like, Tell us in the comments below what y'all like to get because we always down to try something new. That's cute. But they always do that. They do a good job of it. Right here. Okay. Say, say what your name is. Oh yeah, that put you girl. Tell me where you headed. Can I walk with you girl? You got that look in your Happy holidays. What? Madison touching her door? <laughs> she barely touching Thank you, Jeffrey. <laughs> and he gave me the little slip on. So I'm like, I got jail. It really ain't needed, but I appreciate it. Alright, y'all. We just finished at the nail salon. Um, 
as y'all know, like I said, we got the family Christmas party this Saturday. The theme is ugly Christmas sweaters. So we're about to go up in Wally World because, you know, we saw some and my cousin said he saw some up in there too. Um, up in Walmart the last time we went. So that's where we're headed next. And y'all know, I'm about to give y'all the POV. Baby. You looking for those cherry ones? Uh, yeah, since these are all Jolly Rancher, I doubt. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> Not the llama. It is. What this say? Don't stop believing. <laughs> what this say? Ready to jingle. Fresh out of all the laws. Yeah. That's like. Okay, we're going to Nana's. <laughs> Madison's favorite print. That's me. <laughs> Boy, they going OD. She look like a, a slim mega stallion. Holiday treat. Sugar cookie. Okay. Okay, here go the aluminum free, but they don't have the one that I like. I'm going with the secret, the lavender aluminum free. Smell some of this native sandalwood shea butter. That last time we got native, it did not last. That smells good for me and I feel like smell this. You might like this. Sandalwood and shea butter. Ooh, I put that all on your nose, huh? My bad. Cotton and lily. It smells fresh. Aloe and green tea. I can't even smell that. Uh native? Put some more fragrance in that, baby. Black, yeah, oak, and amber. Be like having a wash car. Mid. And I know coconut and vanilla smell good because that's the body wash I got at the house right now. Oh, yeah. That smell good. Oh, Harry's is trash. We just smelled it. <laughs> oh. It's trash. Look, don't even give it here. Okay, here go Tom's Northwoods. But it's anti -person. So we're not gonna get that no way. We get aluminum free. Ugh. I ain't smelling no more. They really don't make me mad today. Like, who's putting that on? Oh, wait. It smells similar, but it doesn't smell bad. Candyland, gingerbread. I think we have gotten that one. And I only remember because of all of those around the door and stuff. We did get that one one year. Yeah. All right, y'all. Just left Walmart and we must say y'all Walmart is going through like a little rebrand or something because Walmart did not look messy it just wasn't giving what it normally give and I can appreciate that it kind of gave us like they're wanting to get more like Target as far as like their setup and stuff they had a nice setup for like the family matching pajamas as y'all saw they even had like a nice setup um, towards the back for like their home decor like little couches and bed setups and stuff you don't normally see that in Walmart so I definitely feel like they're going through a rebrand I don't know if they doing this just for the holidays but if they not shout out to them for stepping it up cuz they've been getting compared way too long and they ain't been at the top so yeah that's my little tidbit y'all just checking in so we wouldn't end up in a whole nother place um we are headed um to go up in Razoo's because we hungry so <laughs> that's where we about to go and i'm gonna take y'all in there with us because yeah it's time girl you better move
So I'm gonna get the jalapeno chicken, y'all. It comes with the chicken fillets, fried chicken fillets on a bed of white rice, and they got the creamy jalapeno cheese sauce. And they come with green beans, but I don't know if I want green beans tonight. And then they come with garlic toast. All right, y'all. So I ordered the jalapeno chicken. They ended up giving me the fish. And I thought about sending it back, but they're kind of busy and short staff. So I honestly don't want to wait on them to get the chicken. So this is my food. It's still good because I've had the fish before too, and it's good. Madison got her old faithful chicken tenders and fries. And what you get? I forgot what it was called. Cajun combo skillet. Chris got the Cajun combo skillet. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this food up. And um, we'll probably holler at y'all later. All right, y'all, so after, you know, biting into the fish, like it was, it was decent, but it just didn't hit the same like the chicken. So I went ahead and sent it back and I'm just waiting on my chicken to come now. All right, y'all, this is my jalapeno chicken. It's on a bed of, instead of the white rice, I got dirty rice. So she was like, do you want white rice or dirty rice? And I was like, oh, I didn't even know that was an option. So I got dirty rice and they gave me extra toast. And I already know it's gonna be good. Cause like I said, both are good, but I just prefer the chicken. So yeah, I'm just coming back to check in and let y'all know. Mm-hmm. That chicken hit different. Good afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon, y'all. We uh getting our day started. We pretty much play hooky. No type of work, business, learning related stuff done today. We are headed out to run the rest of the errands that we did not get a chance to run yesterday when y'all came with us. So first stop is Dutch Bros and then just stay along for a ride because I don't know what you know order we going and all of this so just and comment your favorite dutch bros drink she said comment your favorite dutch bros drink sticking for this week well they usually do it the first wednesday of every month but for the holidays they've been doing it for i think they're doing it for three weeks we got one last wednesday and then this is the second wednesday and then they're doing one next week on the 20th so yeah you see come back on 12 24 mary sticker surprise Okay, y'all. Cotton candy freeze. Okay, so Madison got the cotton yeah, candy freeze. Y'all can't really see it, but you know, got a little whipped cream up on top, and I'm gonna show you my drink. This is my golden eagle. I got decaf because y'all know I'm trying to lay off caffeine. Yeah, iced decaf golden eagle with extra caramel drizzle, and they did. They threw them because baby, they don't never do it that good for me. But yeah, so that's that. And what'd you get? Uh, the snow cap mocha. Okay, Chris got the snow cap mocha, so you see, it got a whole bunch of Christmas sprinkles. Look good, look good, look good. That thing good today. It's always good, but it's real good today. Extra. As you back there gulping yours up, go on. <laughs> Yeah, okay. All right, y'all. As you can see, we are at Kohl's. We about to go up in here and see what kind of ugly Christmas sweaters they got. Because when I did a Google search, they came up first, along with a couple other stores. But we about to see. That's cute. This feels good. Feel this. What's that? Is it squishy ball? I don't like the way they feel in my hand. <laughs> the Grinch ones. These feel so good. That's, that's cute. That's oh, that's from that movie. I have that. Lucky I have this. Unicorn. Lucky me three weeks before Valentine's Day. I got Barbie. <laughs> they definitely got Christmas clothing yeah these looking like granny sweaters <laughs> oh little gingerbread man I'm just... but these are like flare pants i like loose pajamas somebody mom all gonna wear these yeah this is for people who want to get crazy for the holidays <laughs> and here's 
And here's a sweater too. It's the same one. Oh, okay. So this is cool. What is that, a reindeer or dog? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. And that's a medium. So this is the vision, y'all. Sweater, probably some jeans, and probably some boots. Cheese balls. I've never seen a cheese balls ornament. This is cute. They got, oh, it's oat milk, y'all. <laughs> Not them trying to be healthy. <laughs> that's cute, like a little milkshake. Miss Mommy. What is it? It must be that print. You're trying to be funny, ain't you? Well, that's not the print that I don't like. Look, that's like the standard Christmas print. That's cute. Madison, they have an Uno ornament. <laughs> they have some really nice Christmas home decor and stuff for your kitchen here. Yeah, that's cute. And all of their Christmas stuff is on sale right now. This over here is like 60% off. Focus on what we came for. Girl, what she got? Like she ain't never been no more. <laughs> girls Christmas dresses and stuff I see that they got some Grinch pajamas those cute this is definitely a Christmas sweater uh dang it's a six six X it's definitely too small yeah you think I was like that? that's for a little baby girl we just looking for an ugly Christmas sweater you trying to get something that oh I love it <laughs> this is the brand that makes those boots I have muck looks they're always really comfortable she a little iffy about the little fur on the side <laughs> You don't like that little button? <laughs> no, seriously, seriously. They're only $20. You can't beat that. Oh, look, the whole Mickey family. I said Mickey. The whole, like, Mickey and Friends family. All I want for Christmas. And that's not even like a... Yeah, the, the cat one is funny, I feel like. And I'm definitely going to put this out before, you know, the rest of y'all probably have y'all Christmas parties and stuff like this. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all some more. So they got this one with the sloth that says, stay chill. Baby, you got to move your hands so they can see it. Stay chill. They got this one with the cat, like I think I showed y'all. This is the one Chris probably going to get. And they got this one from the movie Elf. Of course, I got the dog. Then I showed y'all that one. I think that was it as far as the uh, options. There was a Charlie Brown one, too. There you go. So yeah, just another option. In case y'all wanna slide up in coals. And this one says all I want for Christmas. We got the beer. And that's pretty much it as far as the options besides the one that I got. And then the little kitty one I showed y'all. That was too small for Madison. These are actual sweaters. Tree, tree Rex. And I see one with a llama. Yeah, these are actual sweaters. Oh, my bad if I bumped you, baby. Um, what is this? Let me see what this one is. Cool. What's that, a cow? And this a medium. I think like I can't read. Put your drink in my pocket. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. But what's this? Hold on, baby. And then, okay, this is the same one with the llama. So all of the men's ugly Christmas sweaters are on sale and they're all now $19.99, which is actually a better deal than the women's section, but you know, whatever. Let's find a slime section, y'all. Y'all babies like slime. So take your carpet, that's all I gotta say. So take your carpet. Finished up in Coles. Lele better not flag me. <laughs> but now, nah, um, just finished up in Coles. We about to uh, head to another store to see if we can find um, a Christmas sweater for Madison. Me and Chris are taken care of, but now we're looking to see what we can find for the little one. Because as y'all saw, the only kids' Christmas sweater they had was a 6, 6X, and she ain't wore that in I don't know how long. So, yeah, so we'll see y'all at the next store. Next door, Dillard's. Ooh, okay. I can appreciate a nice coat now. $2.19, that ain't nothing. This is cute. Just another coat. Oh, baby, they coming with the coats. Come on. Look, Zara who? <laughs> yeah, they got the Christmas, uh, Clothing down to a T for sure. And like holiday parties, New Year's parties. So 
up, Maddie? Y'all, look at this. Cute. Madison don't even like it. This is cute. Oh, thank you. And that print kept coming up. She was like, this is like lumberjack. <laughs> okay. Which isn't bad, but yeah, it's just not as thick yeah. as like a trench coat would be. Oh, Madison's gonna love these socks. So we sleeping on Old Navy with the pajamas too. Okay, y'all, so if y'all, you know, get y'all. <laughs> it could be, y'all wanna get y'all babies some uh, Christmas pajamas. Old Navy got you covered too. Go ahead, Old Navy. Oh, they got the little footsies. Love it. What? Madison touched the door? Oh my, oh my god. All right, y'all, we just left out of uh, Route 21. I didn't bother to record up in there because they didn't have no kids' Christmas sweaters. Now we headed down to Barnes & Noble so we can get the next book in the Dork Diaries series for the little one. Ooh. Ooh. See? And that didn't sound good. You extra. Y'all, look at his hand. <laughs> This is the series I already put y'all on a couple vlogs ago, but this is the Dork Diary series that we um, read with Madison. We do it like a bedtime story, and then sometimes she reads it throughout the day for her learning. And there's a couple of them that they don't throw down here. But yeah, so they have like, if I'm not mistaken, around 16 books in the whole series, but we're on book three now. Cause three and a half, I mean not three, we're on book four. Um, because three and a half, it basically shows you how to write in your own diary, like giving you tips and stuff like that. So we don't feel the need to get three and a half. So she grabbed four. And this yeah. is for y'all. So we are back out and about. Madison got her eyes checked. Anyways, so we're still um, out. We're looking for her a Christmas sweater still. So we're here at the store called Belk, B-E-L-K. And we're going to see what they have to offer. I don't think we've ever been inside a Belk. We always pass this Belk, but we don't never go inside. So we got to see what they got. Um, but yeah, so that's next up on the list. Why you? <laughs> All right, y'all. We'll see y'all inside. Cool. Some nice ornaments. I like this. Not all of them. <laughs> Madison said they basic. Let me serve my Christmas cookies. <laughs> Very festive. Oh, look, Madison. So they definitely have Christmas pajamas for sure. They got a lot of them. Okay. Yeah. Family matching, all of that. This one, this one is the <laughs> This one is definitely considered an ugly kitchen sweater. Exactly. That's the point. We know, but it's on. Oh, there's some more. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Are these little sloths? Treat your elf. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> Ooh, do they have a small? Yes. It's a large. Dang. I hope they got a small. You don't like it? <laughs> okay. So we got it. That is so cute. Oh, it's like a little present. I love that. That's cute. I love that. It's like a present. And then that's a fireplace. Okay. I like that. Yeah, 
Michelle's got a lot of options. Mary. That's the one he just showed us. We just saw that one. That's that one we just saw over there. Santa Paws. That would definitely be for the, the dog parents out there. I need to say something. Hey, Chrissy. Hey, Chrissy. All right, y'all, we're about to get ready. So let me preface, it's the next day. So we're about to get ready to finish um, what we did not finish yesterday, which was um, look for our secret Santas, their gifts. I wanted to come um, do a quick little outfit of the day. I have on my denim on denim jacket, which is my favorite because it pretty much can pair with anything. Relaxed white t-shirt, it's all bunched up under here. Okay, relaxed white t-shirt, gray sweats, uh, my little snow boots from Amazon, some little fat socks. Some little fat Christmas socks. <laughs> my uh, LV Vanity PM bag. And that completes my look. Oh, and my glasses from Boo Glam. Um, yeah, so that completes my look. Very lax, very casual, very I'm running errands, I'm running around shopping. So yeah, that's what we're giving today. So we will see y'all at our next destination. Oof. We just made it to our first destination. We are at Grapevine Mills. We got a couple stores in here that we want to go in. Because we're, like I said, five we're... She trying to go in five below. I ain't worried about five below right now. But yeah, like I said, we're still out because we're searching for the actual gifts for our Secret Santa. Because we pull names um, for Thanksgiving for Secret Santa or whatever. So we're literally looking for our gifts for our secret Santas and hopefully they have what we're looking for here and if not then we'll just be store hopping all day and I'm about to switch into the um the metals or whatever so that y'all can get some POVs while we up in here I love that for us <laughs> why you got me so aggressive <laughs> oh look it's so cute that is so freaking cute It is. It looks like a G wagon. It's bedazzled. This is so stinking cute. Did somebody take the time to just? It's 16 racks, baby. That's cute. Wait. 16 racks. I'm well. At least that's the receipt that's on it. And no, that was not a fluke, y'all. It's really 16 racks. No, I see. And Chris right. said it was originally 32, 32 racks. So this is a discount because we had uh, Neiman Marcus last call. It's cute though. Madison said it was bugs in it. <laughs> Get you some Versace, Versace sweats. That remind me of them paintings that be in them Airbnbs. I ain't feeling that. I don't care what label it is. I don't like it. I don't like it. And I don't like them. They just big and clunky. This is the shoes that the girls wear. On Waverly Place. Those are Alexander McQueen. That's what your kids like to wear when they go to the club. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Must trade. OTD came together real nice. I mean, Marcus last call, it's equivalent to being in like TJ Maxx and Ross and stuff. They just have higher end brands. Like they have nice stuff. You just gotta be willing to look. Look at this coat, baby. You're giving Pepto Bismol pink. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, Madison be quick to look at a price. <laughs> Ooh. This would be perfect for like spring. I don't think this is a four. It looks big for a four. A zero. I ain't never wore a zero. A six. It looks like. Mm mm. I'll bust that in. Yeah. Yeah, you could put that with a nice little skirt or something and really freak it. That's really cute. I like that. I'll be on my Hillary Banks on y'all. Y'all, Madison, hey, Velvet. Madison, here go your favorite material. A little electric purple. I have a blazer this color it's just not that oversized so we gotta have a potty break i'm gonna stop she's gonna give me one second girl this furniture store that feels good it's like too comfy but too soft hello we asked the lady that works here which one she would say is the most comfortable and she said this one 
So we're going to have a little, little feel. I think I like the other one. This one's more firm. It feels good, but the other one, the other one's more plush. Yeah. So I think I like the other one better too. I do like the uh, tables that they're choosing in the middle. You know, most people go rectangle or square, but I like the circle. Well, if you want a nice, I guess, neutral base, you could come here and then you know add pops of color if you want. But that one that we sat on at the front felt really good. Got I this see. Scarface jacket. The Adidas. Cowboy Nation, baby. I've never seen a red cowboy jacket ever. Yeah, what? That feel like a couch. That's a nice cowboy hat. Oh, look at these little cream crocs. So cute. Like this is cute to me. Like the brown and the white. Not the yellow one. I think I remember something that looked like that. Yeah, those are cute. Those are perfect for like winter. These colors and then this material, perfect for winter. I like those vapor mats. These are cute. Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. The baby ones was just a glitter check itself, but this actually has the little sand in there. Bath and Body Works, yes please. Men section, y'all. It's something I would mix. That's nice. What smell is that? So if y'all bronze something for yourself or for your man, the woodland smells good. Are there deodorants like the gel? Oh, it's powder. Cause y'all know them gel deodorants be freaking burning your underarms and all that. It hit too? Mmm, yeah, I like that. Update y'all, it's not aluminum free. So leave it where it's at. Urban. It is strong. It smells very manly though. Yeah. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, it's not. It, it actually yeah. smells so too. And we know mahogany teak wood hit every time because them candles be hit. Yeah, it still smells good. Coffee and whiskey. Coffee and whiskey? Is wow, it, that is really it is coffee and whiskey. Yeah. It's like spot on. Both I don't of them. think I like it. <laughs> it That's a cute little gift set. You smell this. Twisted peppermint. Yeah. It's very strong. Oh, wow. <laughs> if, if you, yeah, if you love peppermint, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Vanilla bean, Noel. Oh, that's a lit down. Oh, you can barely smell. Well, hold on. Get your nose in there a little bit more. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I smell it. You got to get a good whip. I think when it's burning, it's going to, you know, yeah, be real, real good. strong. Yeah. Blueberry lemon sour. You see? That smells good. That does. That smells like a nice bathroom yeah, at a hotel, I feel like. Yes, <laughs> right? Good. Claws Mopolitan. It's good. It's like a sweet. I don't, I don't like that. Marshmallow Fireside. It's nice, but it's like expected. Yeah, that, that smells like something we've had for sure. Peach Bellini. Ugh. Smell like a strong drink. Oh, that smells good. You like fruity stuff. It's grapefruit. Yeah, I don't like that. Leaves. Hold on. Yes. Don't be getting yes. excited. Oh, this smells like fall, <laughs> but I don't like it. This is leaves. Yes. That smells good. That's a good. That's something good to burn with that other one. Yes. Like a combo. This smells like fall. This is caramel this drizzle. It smells like caramel. Yeah, we just sitting around a bunch of candy at that point. Ugh, I gotta get that off my nose. Ugh. Candy Emporium. It's, it's too strong. Candy Emporium. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here you go. My bad. <laughs> it hit a little bit. Yeah, it's not terrible. I had to get a second whiff, but uh, lavender marshmallow. I don't like that. Peppermint sugar cookie. Okay. Very mint and sugar cookie for sure. Merry cookie. These are just like little, <laughs> nothing crazy. I'm gonna smell Christmas cider real quick. Ugh. 
Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother to let your daddy smell that one. Twisted peppermint. Ooh, these, these peppermint ones are very strong. Nice apple toddy. Yeah, no. Ooh, smoked caramel. Ugh. <laughs> no. Immediately no. Hot pink cocoa. This is hot pink cocoa. That make my stomach hurt. Ooh. We're gonna leave that right where it's yeah. at. Chocolate yeah. macadamia. It's cool. Oh, if you like coffee, this caramel frappuccino smells really good. It Not does. somebody blowing her hanging off Wait, the camera. Where? where? I threw it. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If so y'all, we done with the holiday scent. They ain't about nothing. <laughs> it's too much cookie and stuff that smells like stuff we already have. Yeah, you have this one, the black cherry Merlot. This is the one we have in your bathroom. Smell this. It, it's like okay. That's actually okay. So if you like coffee, this is another one that smells really good, like some coffee. Crunchy English toffee. It has crisp eucalyptus, lavender, and fresh air. Y'all, Chris got a dryer, cheap fetish, so I'm gonna <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I knew you were gonna like that. Y'all, he, he had to get a second sniff, y'all. <laughs> I look like we're about to go with Old Faithful, Mahogany Teakwood, the intense one, and then the Woodlands Men's Collection. Those are the only two that we feel like pair really good with what they currently have. So, and it's buy one, get one. So, you know how that go. I'm going to leave me back like that. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all can see me hungry. Madison wants Sonic. Girl, ain't nobody getting no Taco Bell. <laughs> But yeah, and we probably gonna get Charlie's. Just a regular Philly. This is what mommy made. Hey, mind your business. Ultimate. Yeah, it comes with the bacon, the cheese, the ranch. Chris getting that bacon three. Hey, <laughs> Alright, Chris going to go get our Charlie's. I'm gonna set up my little food station because I don't want my food touching their table. Cause I already know they just be wiping it down. I'm pretty sure it ain't sanitized like it needs to be. Still want a Madison cheese stick. Ooh, yeah, thank you. So good. Got my strawberry lemonade, no ice. And then my Philly with my ranch and all of that. The loaded fries, they look real good. I ain't about to be on here smacking. I just want to show y'all. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all, we just, she got one of her hands for you. We just left um, Grapevine Mills. We about to head over to Nordstrom's um, rack now. And we went to Five Below. My glasses had started getting low, so I had to wait till we got back to the car so I could charge them up or whatever. So they're charging now. But we had went in Five Below, and we had came across the little freeze-dry candy, which they're freeze-dry Skittles, even though they're not branded as that. So Madison tried them, and Chris tried them. What y'all think so far? Let me see the bag. Good. They good. So Madison says they're good. So the brand is, what does it say? So good candy. It says freeze dry sour bites. And like I said, it's Skittles. They just ain't able to say they're Skittles. So let me easy. That is good. Yeah. It's different. And a lot of these freeze dry candies have been going like viral on TikTok and stuff. But this is our first time trying them. It's like more crunchy. And it just low key dissolves. I'm about to pass it back. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what we're headed next. And if I'm able to link those, I will. rack has a big selection of ugly well not big selection but a nice size selection of ugly christmas sweaters just fyi Wait, look. not the uh golfing dad shirt <laughs> i remember these remember they had like all the colors yeah like last i guess spring or summer and some red ones yeah they literally dropped every colorway there's some more blue ones oh a little forest green Little slippers for the man in your life. So I bought Chris on like this 
they're pretty similar to those, but they're deer foams. But these feel Stop. just as plush. Yeah. Not the Hugo. Excuse me, big heads. Oh yeah, they are dark more. I just don't like this style. Oh yeah, I would have got so excited. I just love me some gel pens. I got some cute little sketchbooks too. Oh, they got a big pack of gel pens. <laughs> all right y'all so pretty sure this is our last stop of the night we are at target madison has to find something for her secret santa now so we're gonna slide up in here um up in target um we did look around nordstrom's as y'all saw and they had some some really nice things i will say that more than um, I was expecting, especially in the purse section, because I've never seen so many cute purses in Nordstrom Rack in the purse section, but maybe I just don't be at the right one, I don't know. But yeah, so we at Target now, and I'm gonna take y'all in with us as always, get the POV. But yeah, see y'all inside. <laughs> y'all yeah, gonna be in the party lift, <laughs> like Issa. Um, come through here, Madison. You back? <laughs> I love this. <laughs> oh, and there's Papa. And there's you, Granny. <laughs> You gotta realize you can't do what I do, boo. close out the vlog here it's been a pretty eventful week today alone has been pretty eventful i would say as far as us like kind of hustling and bustling trying to get our last minute christmas stuff together from before the party or whatever so i'm gonna definitely go ahead and end the vlog here today is thursday tomorrow um we'll be literally what are we no nah, we done as far as like getting our stuff our, our um, secret sandals that's all wrapped up any like stuff that we didn't do today would be just like personal errands like i think we have like one or two um like amazon returns and things like that to do but we're pretty much wrapping it up and then the party will be on um saturday like early evening or whatever so i just want to make sure i came and wrapped up the vlog let me know how y'all liked the uh pov content with the meta ray bands i still want feedback so let me know in the comments what y'all thought about it do y'all prefer that or would you prefer that i get most of the i guess in store walk around pov content from my camera let me know i know it kind of sucks for it to be vertical but it allows me to get you know content literally as i'm doing it versus me trying to hold a camera and get you know what i'm saying correct angles and stuff like that i feel like when i wear the glasses it's like you're right there with me so let me know what y'all uh, think about that i feel like the glasses have really become a game changer i will say um the battery power on the glasses i would say just for them to be so small the battery power is good but i would say unless you're planning to like take them off let them charge throughout you know your vlogging process then they're not gonna last a full day like at all just depending on if you leave them on the entire time while you're like out running around vlogging like in between clips or whatever i left them on pretty much the whole time while we were like at the mall or whatever instead of like turning them off each time i was done with a clip because you just never know when you want to continue to um, record so that's just something that i noticed i still love them just because it allows me to be hands-free i can literally be talking to Chris, talking to Madison, doing whatever I'm doing while we're at stores and stuff and still be getting y'all that content. And um, the only other thing 
that I know I knew this before getting them though it only allows you to do 60 second clips at a time and then it'll like make a little noise to let you know that it stops recording so you basically just got to say like hey meta record and you know what I'm saying it'll start recording on its own or you just hold down the little button at the top or whatever and it starts recording but I'm gonna do a separate um review video for those but those are just little tidbits that I've um noticed so far and i've had them for what i guess like two two weeks now i guess i don't know i think it's been at least a week and a half two weeks now since i've had them but i'm gonna do like a full video review just on my um opinion so far um having them and then i'll be literally probably between now and saturday i'll be uploading this not just uploading it but i'll be editing and then uploading this weekly vlog and hopefully it'll be up by um sunday i can't allow it to go up any earlier than sunday because the family christmas party is on saturday and i don't want our secret sandals to be all up in there looking i don't know if they be watching like that but if they do or one of their spouses do or whatever i don't want nobody telling nobody what we bought and stuff like that so i'm gonna make sure this goes up so I think that's it. Um, anything that I'm able to link, I'm definitely going to link it in the product description as I always do. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your mama them or whatever to subscribe to my channel. Um, let me know what type of content y'all would like to see going forward. And I think I'm going to do either a shorts or just a separate vlog um, of some sort to show y'all the spot that we went to to take our um, family Christmas pajamas. It's a spot that allows you to go um, up in Frisco or whatever, $10 on Tuesdays for you to have a whole hour spot. And it's not $10 for um, you and your whole family. It's literally $10 per person unless your child, I think, is like under the age of five, then they get in free. But anyway, I'll make sure I link all that stuff too. Since I mentioned it, I'll make sure I link that in this description, but I'm still going to probably do a separate video to show y'all what that looks like on the inside of the photo studio in case you want to go hurry up and take you some pictures before Christmas or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thank y'all for watching. If you watched up until this point, I'm going to keep the um, weekly vlogs, mini vlogs, whatever I'm able to uh, create in the midst of all the stuff going on i'm gonna make sure um i continue to get as much footage as i can i will say with the glasses it allows me to easily get the content without constantly feeling like oh i don't want people asking me questions and stopping me and feeling awkward when i'm recording and stuff like that so i feel like it allows me to be a better um, a better vlogger. The glasses allow me to be a better vlogger for sure because I'm able to get that really good POV content in order to like really make you feel like you're with me. So that's my little tidbit. Again, thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all on the next one.